Hi, I'm going to show you how to use TerraSpace and test it with Docker uh, with inside Docker container here so you can try it in this video. Uh, to do that, we're going to go through some documentation, everybody's favorite thing. So documentation, you click on Docs and under here under Install, there is Docker. So here are some Docker run commands that shows you uh, how to launch a Docker image that has TerraSpace already installed with also uh, this image also has Terraform installed. And generally trying to keep these uh, images to have the latest version of Terraform and TerraSpace, and they get built nightly. Okay, so um, we can grab one of these commands, but I'm gonna actually click on AWS because there's some more useful commands to go over here. Uh, there is credentials. So let's say uh, you have credentials, you probably have credentials in your .AWS folder because you've configured your probably AWS CLI. And so it's very useful to mount those credentials uh, into the container. So then you don't have to uh, recopy and paste your credentials. You just mount a uh, volume temporarily there and then you use, you use those credentials. So we're gonna do that in this video. Uh, there are also some other useful tips here like editing the files here. So you can maybe mount your present working directory into like a work folder here. And then you could modify things with your editor in your laptop. Uh, um, you can also use uh, environmental EMV files. Uh, so then you have like predefined environmental variable files and all that. And then down here, uh, it talks about uh, once you're inside the container, we can actually just generate a new project and we'll basically we'll be able to test TerraSpace with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and go through this now. I'm just gonna actually grab this command right here. So that's Docker run. Uh, I'm just gonna remove the container afterwards and then uh, TI for TTY session and I for interactive. I'm mounting the volume here for V there, and then that's how I get the credentials in the container. Okay, I do have to export AWS profile, and my profile is just called Tongue. Uh, and then uh, now I think I'm ready to actually rock and roll. I'm ready to go TerraSpace new project infra examples. So that I'm gonna generate essentially a new TerraSpace project here with uh, working examples. So that built uh, the project, I'm gonna CD into the folder. Uh, I'm gonna cat um, or LS app here. There's modules, stacks, and then under stacks, there's demo here. Under demo, uh, there's main.tf. Okay, so I'm gonna go and cat that so you can kind of see it briefly. So that basically calls a uh, module bucket and source is this, this module file example. So this is actually the one that we probably wanna take a look at. Uh, example, main.tf. You can see this is where it creates the S3 bucket. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and run this now and that should uh, create our bucket. So there's TerraSpace up. It says building Terra uh, space catch stacks demo right here. So what TerraSpace does, it takes these files and it uh, composes them to a Terraform project. And then uh, if I scroll up here, all it does is really see these into that folder and then it runs pure Terraform commands. So it's pretty transparent with how it works. So it's doing a plan and then it uses that plan file to then do apply and then create the bucket. So we did this all in, um, you know, um, within the container and we didn't even have to kind of really install anything aside from I guess Docker. Uh, grep uh, bucket. So we're just gonna see if that bucket exists right there, ultimate net. So this is it, that kind of pretty much uh, shows you how to get get started with it. Let me just actually just destroy it real quick. Terra space uh, mm, down demo dash Y, there we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up everything and that should get rid of the bucket and I'm just gonna firm right after it's destroyed. So I'm just running the AWS S3 LS command again, just to confirm it's all gone. So bye-bye bucket. There, no more bucket. So that's it. And I did the all in container by mounting my AWS credentials and I got started kind of really quickly with that. And these are the documentation that's relevant. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Cheers.